star. Now, um, a, a star is someone that's just starting to walk boards with them. They really don't have their name, but it goes into um, making their name because you can be a star with a name too. So you just basically making your name a star. Now, to be um, and, and to be a statement, that means your name is getting out in your city, and they catching on out of your city that you are a statement. You know. Now, up and coming means up and coming in your category, say if it's runway, they should know you everywhere. In every city, when it comes to runway, they should say, well, Andre or whoever is that person will come in as soon as they post a, a runway category and they say whatever house, you should be one of the names they bring out for up and coming legend because you're minutes from being a legendary person. So if you're a legendary person, then everybody should know who you are if you up and coming. Legendary for a category, you have decreed you have won, you have stapled everywhere, you have won many time grand prizes, cash, and everybody respects you for this category. Hands down, you are, you know, everybody know you for this category completely. You are a household name. If you are a household name, Completely, you are legendary for that category. Period. Word. Now, all around legend, like legendary, means you are legend for more than two or three categories. So then you stapled legendary. So then that means you have ten. You know, you have ten or more years under your belt to be legend for more than one category. So then that means you're getting close to being an icon because you you all around. Period. Now, this is how I feel about icons. I feel to be an icon, one, you, you're, very, you're a household name and you can never be forgotten. But I think to be an icon, anybody that was deemed for me is different. But anybody that was deemed after me, I go by my activity to say, okay, if I had to do something for the community, if I had to go out of the box to, to basically um, be a choreographer or work with the industry and all the rest of that, then that's what I see everybody should do. Not say work with the industry, but help the community. Um, do HIV awareness things. Do stuff that gets you out of the box of walking a regular category because that's legendary. You have to do more to be this founder, you know, to be an icon or whatever. Right. You know, if, help, him, help build a house, the house together. But I think you have to reach out completely in different areas to be an icon. And some of them don't. I don't agree with it. I don't see it like that at all. I would never see and say people are not what they are because if somebody gave this, that to them, then that's what they did. But I, I just don't see it that way. Right. Yeah. Sounds important, though. Okay. Hmm. okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Sounds good to me. Um, you mm-hmm. know what? I just want to recap real quick because I think I forgot it. Uh, did you did you ever walk in Alabama, by the way? Yes, I have. I, I didn't walk in Alabama, um, but I did start with things in Alabama. So I never walked here, but I went to three different ballrooms here, and I did. Um, I did oh, wow. Tell us a little bit about the ballroom style in uh, Alabama. Is it different from, you know... Well, it, it's, it's striving to get better, but what I love about Alabama and the Luton State is they're hungry. So when they're when you're hungry for a category, everybody comes out. Everybody tries to vogue, and they don't really know, you know, what's going on, but they keep doing it because they're hungry. So that's right. good about it. I'm sorry, that's just going on. Now, one of the things I wanted to go to real quick, I don't know if you want to answer or not. Um, in, in 1993, there was a shade between you and overall Jose Extravaganza. Um, what was that about? I'm sorry, you said it was shade in 93 about what? Where Jose father Extravaganza, there was like a verbal vogue thing going on. Oh, yeah. Children, it was, you know what it was? children it was post more, um, that, that video so viral to this day, and that happened like yeah, eons ago. <laughs> it was, you know what it was? It was more um, Jose... He was biggest forever. Me and him were really, really close friends. And um, but before we became close friends, no one would come to Jose because he was so iconic for his performance. But at the same time, I'm so competitive. I was the one 
when they say a name, I'm the only one that kept coming out to move against him. So it was almost just like a competitive you know, um, controversy. It wasn't nothing personal completely. Right. But um, me being young and him being young at that time, I guess it got a little out of control where um, we started, you know, cursing each other out. And then by the time that ABC boy that you're talking about came, we was already against each other. He didn't like that I was the one to come for him. And um, I, I've always seen his performance, but I was like, well, I want to be like him one day, so I have to do what I have to do. And I that was a step stone for both of us, you know, at the same time. He already had his name out there, and I definitely was getting my name out there, and it just went viral. Wow. That's what it was about. Yeah. Wow. Do you feel like uh, you guys were set or pumped, pumped up to, to have that episode? Uh, yeah, I, I do feel that it was, you know, he definitely going to have, um, you know, Ms. Why he is in my fans on one side. He's going to have extravaganzas and his fans on another, you know, saying certain things to him, saying certain things to me. Me being young and, and, and really just new in the ballroom scene, I was just having fun, you know, and just going with whatever. And he was doing the same. It was nothing personal at all. And I respect that man to the fullest, and I know he respects me. And that was, that was basically it. Word. So, sportsmanship. That is a great, inspiring message to send out to the ballroom team. Yeah, the, 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 the best thing about ballroom and, and performing is basically just stay you know, stay competitive. Do all the fighting and the arguing and the backstabbing and all of that is not core cool for. Just try to be, you know, the person that you can be. And that's it. Right, right, word. Now, this subject is a really, really, really touchy subject because some people say it could have turned into a racial war or started some kind of like race, like some race profile into the ballroom scene because it kind of oh. like the ballroom kids kind of seen that as like the Latino kids were sticking together and, and, and you know, and the ballroom and the black kids were sticking together. And do you feel like that was uh, a, a, a monumental part in, in ballroom scene at that time? Um, yeah, I do feel that um, at that time that you had, you had you know, the blacks that stick together or you had, the, you know, the Spanish or the Puerto Ricans that stick together. And, I, and, and to this day, I still feel that, um, you know, some houses like the extravaganzas don't get the accolades like they should because the majority of the ballroom is black, you know. So they, and sometimes when, when you know, a, a Hispanic might come out and serve a black girl that do the Hispanic might don't win because when you look on the panel it looks like it's more, you know, black. So they would give it to one of their girlfriends before they give it to the others. But then I've seen the same thing happening. to get past the judges panel because a lot of rumor is that it's a uh, it's ver a lot of favoritism and and clicks and stuff like that nowadays i do agree and it's i very do agree hard i think to, um it is a lot of favoritism yeah there's a lot of favoritism one and i can feel that um it's harder to get through because gays is hard to please anyway you know if you, if you can please a gay you can you have done it you have done the world you know com compared to you know the heterosexual and um, we, our eye is so strong, you don't know, sometimes if it's shade or they just don't see it, you know, one or the other. Um, but, yeah, um, I think that um, it, 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 it can be politics a lot when it comes to walking, especially today, because some leaders is horrible. I'm not even going to lie. Wow. They're into it for the wrong reasons. They, um, once you give certain people... Um, you know, legend status, they use it for the wrong things, either to have kids or, you know, to scare people um, if they're in a power position and try to use the next, you know, person to get what they need. Wow. And, you know, that, that's about politics and, and how life runs, period. You just got to, you know, right, right. 
right. Choose so you wisely feel... and just make sure that you're doing right. Well, since since you're a man that throws balls, you know, and and in the ball scene, and, and you, you have a lot of experience in throwing balls in the ball scene, do you feel like this? messes with the sales and I think it messes with the new generation as well because you hear so much bad and I'm one of those that never smoked never drink ever in my life never did one drug ever and I'm 46 years old so for me to be in the scene and never did none of that you never see me fighting you never see me do this it is positive in the scene it's just what you do and who you're around and that's why I always teach all my kids you don't have to, as long as you're a stern, you know, adult and you do right, you will be right. And just leave it like that. Don't don't go by what everybody's saying. Experience what you want to experience in life first before you sit here and say something is not good for you or listen to somebody. Learn yourself completely Word. and then you'll be fine. Welcome. Great advice to the ballroom scene. Here's out there who's sitting right now. Who's new to the ballroom scene? Yes. Now, um, what I also wanted to ask was, uh, how do how do you feel, you know, about the shade and and you know all the uh, guns and, and weapons and stuff like that coming into the ballroom scene? Like, is is that is that a rumor or is that you know because since we have so many people talking bad about you know ballroom for the new generation, is is that a rumor mm-hmm. or is it like a problem in the ballroom scene? Like. Um, it is a it is a problem in the ballroom scene that needs to be uh, justified. But um, that's it's a problem in the world, you know. And, and and I'm one of those that think period in the world. So if if, if we are in the world, it's in the ballroom scene. It's you know people dying, people getting shot every day, people are doing things. You you can go to the corner store and get shot. You know, this is but right. you know when people you have to say this to people because they be like, oh, ballroom, you know, they fighting this and they fighting that. How many things I see in the news every day where they fighting? You could just because you don't go to a board on me, you ain't gonna be in a fight. You know, I like I said, I never was one in a fight ever, and I did ballroom for um, twenty eight years now. My son will be twenty eight, so I did ballroom for twenty eight years. And for me to tell you, I, I was not fighting in ballroom. I I was never, you know, putting up. I've seen guns. It's more of if you see something, don't run to it, run it from it. That's in any aspect. You're not going to, don't be gay and want to know what is going on because you know it ain't positive, so don't be around it. If something happens that I know that's not right, I back up and I move away from it. I think one of the positive ones that try to, you know, do better and see if we can get ballroom better, but the world is is not better in certain aspects, so you're not going to get that great with anything that you do. Right. It just be positive and just move forward if you see something wrong and don't let them let no one stop you from what you want to do. And if you want to stop doing something, you stop. Don't listen to somebody that they had a bad experience. Learn your own experiences. Be the man or woman that you are and grow. Yes. Yeah. I'll find it. Now, is the Baldwin Scene House uh, planning on your tackling some of these issues in the politics side of ballroom scene to try to fix this and, 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 and get ballroom back to standard? You said my house? Uh, no, the ballroom scene, period. Um, well, yeah, I can't say um, as alliance and we rebuild an alliance to try to fix, yes. The ballroom, we try to fix anything, you know, that we have with, with the ballroom, with the society, with family, that politics, you know, anything, um, the, the, stat, the statuses, problems, all of it. We're trying to fix everything that's wrong with it in the new alliance that we're building. And it holds about, we try to get every, somebody from every house, one or two people. So we got like almost 26 people. And, you know, that's going to be the board to figure out what's all the problems in Boro. Word. To try to fix it. Yeah. Yes. That is so great. I'm pretty sure everyone is honored to hear that out of the world. I, one thing I just wanted to ask him, I wanted to talk a little bit about what happened in the Carolinas, you know, when the, you know, the drama with the chairs and the tables flying, the big girl mm-hmm, picked up mm-hmm. the table and then she threw it. Mm-hmm. Who was that big girl, by the way? <laughs> oh, she, she was, she was a rev um, yeah, she was a butch fan of guys, rev at that time. I don't think she was a rev anymore. I don't even know how she's in right now. Wow. But, um, 
she's and actually she's a she's a nice girl but i guess at that time you know people